Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna get real and talk about something that pretty much everyone deals with at some point, jealousy and insecurity. Whether it's with your bae, your bestie, or just life in general, those icky feelings of jealousy and self-doubt can seriously harsh your vibe. But don't sweat it, I got you covered. We're gonna break it all down and give you some solid tips to slay those green eye monsters once and for all. First things first, let's talk about what jealousy and insecurity actually are. Jealousy is that nasty feeling that creeps up when you're afraid of losing something or someone important to you. Maybe your boo is getting a little too friendly with someone else, or your bestie seems to be hitting it off with a new crew. Insecurity, on the other hand, is that voice in your head that constantly puts you down and makes you doubt yourself. It's that nagging fear that you're just not good enough, smart enough, pretty enough, you name it. Now, a little bit of jealousy or insecurity here and there is totally normal. We're all human, and it's natural to have those feelings pop up every once in a while. The problem arises when we let those emotions consume us and start dictating our actions and behaviors. Trust me, I've been there. Back in high school, I had this major crush on this girl. Let's call her Claudia. Claudia was a total package, captain of the basketball team, straight A student, and just an all around catch. Naturally, I was head over heels jealous anytime I saw her talking to another guy. I'd find myself obsessively stalking her social media, trying to decode every little interaction and convincing myself that she was into whoever she was talking to. It got to the point where I was a straight up crazy person, and Claudia probably thought I was a total psycho. Needless to say, that jealousy did not serve me well. It made me act like a total clown and pretty much ruined any chance I had with Claudia. Insecurity has also been a major struggle for me over the years. Growing up, I was always the nerdy, awkward kid who got bullied a lot. Those experiences really did a number on my self-esteem, and I spent way too much time doubting myself and my abilities. Even when I started having success in school or with friends, that little voice in my head would pipe up and tell me that I didn't deserve it or that I was just faking it. It was a constant battle to shut that voice down and believe in myself. So yeah, I've been there, and I know how crappy those feelings can be. But here's the good news. You don't have to let jealousy and insecurity rule your life. With a few simple mindset shifts and coping strategies, you can take back control and slay those negative feelings like a boss. First up, let's tackle jealousy. One of the biggest keys to overcoming jealousy is to work on building your self-confidence and self-worth. When you truly believe in yourself and your value, you won't be as threatened by other people or situations. It's also important to keep things in perspective. Just because your boo is talking to someone else doesn't necessarily mean they're interested in them or going to leave you. Trust is huge in any relationship. And if you can't trust your partner, that's a whole other can of worms. Another major key is to focus on yourself and your own happiness. Instead of obsessing over what your partner or friends are doing, pour that energy into your own goals, hobbies, and interests. When you're living your best life and feeling fulfilled, you'll be way less likely to get bogged down by jealousy. Now, let's talk about insecurity. This one can be a real beast, but there are definitely ways to tame it. One of the biggest things that helped me was learning to practice self-love and self-acceptance. It sounds cheesy, but really taking the time to appreciate and embrace all the unique things that make you, you can work wonders for your self-confidence. It's also crucial to surround yourself with people who uplift and support you. Toxic friends or family members who constantly put you down or make you feel small will only feed into your insecurities. Ditch those negative Nancys and fill your circle with people who gas you up and have your back. 
Another game changer for me was reframing my negative self-talk. Whenever that little voice in my head would start spewing self-doubt, I consciously counter it with positive affirmations and reminders of my worth. It takes practice, but over time, it gets easier to shut down those negative thought patterns. And remember, nobody is perfect. We all have flaws and insecurities, even the people who seem to have it all together on the outside. Embracing your imperfections and learning to love yourself, quirks and all, is a huge step toward overcoming insecurity. Of course, sometimes jealousy and insecurity can stem from deeper issues or past traumas that might require professional help to work through. If you're really struggling and these strategies aren't cutting it, don't be afraid to reach out to a counselor or therapist. There's no shame in getting the support you need. At the end of the day, jealousy and insecurity are natural human emotions that we all deal with to some degree. The key is learning how to manage and overcome them in healthy ways so they don't end up running your life. Trust me, once you get a handle on these suckers, you'll be amazed at how much lighter and more confident you feel. You'll be able to fully enjoy your relationships, pursue your dreams without self-doubt holding you back, and just overall be a happier, more secure version of yourself. So, there you have it, fam, the 411 on dealing with jealousy and insecurity. Remember, you've got this. Believe in yourself. Focus on your own happiness. And don't let those negative feelings bring you down. Slay on. My friends, slay on. Thank you and please do not forget to subscribe. Until next time.